But where I've seen a lot of people fall down is they say yes to everything. They don't qualify properly. And then that is ultimately what comes back to haunt them because it damages their reputation. They don't actually do a very good job. Or they start so many different ventures and they can't fully commit to one thing that all of them burn out and then it doesn't do very well. Then you end up with the problem of like, oh, that's um, that's Chelsea. She does this business and this business and this business. What does she actually do? Yeah. <laughs> it's like, well, yeah. And the point of like obviously marketing and big reputation is like, I want people to have the biggest reputation in their industry. And that's what marketing should be. Someone thinks like, oh, I need, well, if you want a new car, you usually have a brand in mind of what car you actually want to go for. And then the salesperson just has to meet your monthly payments or whatever it is. Yeah. That's what I want to create in terms of the marketing that we do for our clients. And that's what marketing should be. You should want people to approach your business like it's a car. Like they really want to work with or drive around that brand every day. Yeah. That's a lovely analogy and a nice way of putting it, I think. Yeah, there's there's a lot to be said for just acknowledging where you don't want to go, what you do want to do. And to your I mean to your point, you know, when you mentioned having multiple businesses, right? So um I think you can have multiple businesses, but you can't market to each one of them indirectly. And I think that's where personality comes into it nicely because if you're the person you are, people will naturally be attracted to be aligned to and and synergize with you. And at some point it will come out that you have a business that does X, Y, and Z. You it will shine through that that business represents something that gets you out of bed on a morning. You know, for me, it's helping people make better decisions. No matter what I do, every business I work with is aligned on that. And I think you know, to people who have two or three businesses, yeah, your LinkedIn page should reflect you and how you come across yeah. on social media should be your personality. The businesses will look after themselves as a result. Yeah, I completely agree with that, actually. it's. Um, I think it's when you end up sharing so many different things on your personal thing or you personally don't stand strongly enough for one thing and you're kind of sat on the fence about all these different things and it's like, oh, okay, you end up being a really wishy-washy character and it's like oh i don't really know what to think about you but that's probably because you don't know what you think about anything so yeah 